Now that we have all of our layers separated, we can start by invert cutting some of these pieces, such as the tongue, and we're going to keep the chin intact. So same thing as the eye, I'm going to go and get a color override to separate the line of my mouth from the interior color of my mouth. Always the uh, right port of my color override. I'm going to come and connect this here. Go into my layer properties. I'm going to go and uh, select the color that I want so the line will be red in this color override. I'm going to go into render selected colors only. Check render selected colors. Right now I have nothing from my mouth drawing layer showing because I have no colors inside there. So I'm going to go and drag the line. And we're just going to rename this just so we know what, what we're working with. So line mouth. And I'm going to go and get a second color override that will read only the color inside of my mouth. Now I'm going to connect it under the tongue just so we see right away where the uh, color is. I'm going to go into render selected colors only, render selected colors, and I'm going to go and get the mouth underscore int color. So now we have the tongue that is sandwiched in between the line and the mouth interior color. And all I need to do at this point is make sure that my tongue is only red within that color. So I'm going to go and get a cutter and I'm going to cut the tongue into the rightmost port and I'm cutting that by the color. Now remember when we want to invert what we have uh, over in our camera view we want to go into the layer properties of our cutter. We're going to select um, invert and just close. So now I have my chin that can be uh, red and moved around any way that I like. I have my tongue that can also be moved if I have various expressions uh, to create with my character. If I wanted to come and redo some new drawings as well. And I have the mouth that can also be animated by itself without stretching or squashing the tongue. Um, one thing you may want to make sure is that if I go to some of my other drawings where I have the color of the teeth that is supposed to be red here. What I want to do is I want to put it on the same color override as the line because this one isn't affected by anything. It's just going to come on top and show uh, on top of everything else. So if I look at the different drawings that I have for my mouth, now I have the teeth color that is supposed to be here as well. So here I also need to have the color of the tongue and the line of the tongue that is red on top. What I'm going to do is add these colors to my list inside the color, uh, color override line mouth right here. So I'm getting the tongue, I'm getting the teeth, and I'm getting the line tongue. Now this won't affect uh, putting your uh, tongue on top of everything else, as well the tongues that are in the color art layers anyways because they're not filtered out through the line art layer. So you don't have to worry about any of that showing up into uh, the rest of your uh, the rest of your shape. Now if I look, now I can see all of my different layers. I've got the chin for the drawings that I've created. That is also already moving. Any uh, place that I go over on my timeline, if I decide I want to have 
uh, another shape. Now if we review the steps that we've done, first we created the art for our mouth. We have the mouth on the line art, we have the tongue on the color art, and we have the chin over on the underlay. Now by having these you can uh, create your system, but since our system is already created, we won't have to do that for the front view. So you just need to separate your drawings properly and you will have your front view done in no time.